Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good night, depending on which country you are in. But I greet everyone this morning and hope that you are all doing well. My name is Paul Edwards. I am a financial professional advisor by profession. And I'm also a son of God. And I want to encourage you briefly this morning. I want to talk to you about life assurance and life insurance. But the first thing I want to do, I want to read a line from the book Power Gen, Gem by Reginald Crutchley. And the line said, leadership is the art of unifying the dynamics of diversity. Leadership is the art of unifying the dynamics of diversity. We first lead ourselves and our families. Let us expand and become a dynamic, positive influence in our communities. So that's a power gem I want to give you today to expand and become a positive influence in our communities. As I said to you, I'll be talking to you briefly today about life assurance and life insurance. Life assurance gives us eternal life. And I'm sure all of us, all right thinking people would want and desire to live. And we that are believers desire to live forever. To get this life assurance, we need to be saved. We need to surrender our hearts and minds to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do that by repenting of our sins, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, and then continue to learn on after that. Life insurance is a financial tool that is used to protect families. I call it love assurance because love is not only in words, but it is also in action. And every individual's individual should have life insurance. What does life insurance do? You get living benefits from it, and if the unfortunate happens, it protects you and your family. Every one of us should have life insurance, but we hope we don't need it until we are stricken in age, but we should have it. You, I'm sure, or maybe everyone here hearing my voice have had someone or know of someone who we say died young or before their time, or even died when they're old. But what does life, or I call it love assurance do? It provides for those who you leave behind. When you went before a preacher and you said, until death do us part, your family expects that you are going to take care of them. But if you are married, a husband or a wife with kids, and let us say you are working 100,000. I'm using 100,000 because it's easier to calculate in doing the maths. And if you are 30 or 40 earning 100,000, and if the average age is 75 um, based on the average age of longevity is 75 and you are earning a hundred thousand and you're 40 then you are expected to bring that for the next 35 years so a hundred thousand times 35 your wife and family expect over that period of time you would bring into the family 3.5 million dollars and if we were to use 50,000 and we do the same calculation times 35, they're expecting you to bring $1.75 million into the family. And therefore you should have at least that amount of coverage 
to protect your family if the unexpected was to happen. When a loved one dies, not only do you lose their presence, and no amount of money can compensate for the loss of a loved one, I, I can tell you that, but money makes life living easier because not only do you lose your loved one's presence, but you also lose your income. And if your partner income was to, to be cut off, how would that affect your family? In most cases, in many cases, because many persons don't have life insurance and they don't have sufficient life insurance. In many cases, it affects their loved ones drastically. I'm giving you a, a personal experience of a friend of mine. This man is 74 years old. He, this individual is 74 years old. He and his wife was getting a combined income of social security of over $2,000. His wife died. God bless her soul, very close friend of mine. Immediately, her income stopped. Her social security stopped. His social security is just over $1,000. What happened? He has gone into serious financial crisis because his mortgage is almost $1,000. So his mortgage is equivalent to his income. So there's no room for food or anything. Serious problems. That has happened to many people. There are many persons who, when a loved one passes, they lose their homes, don't have sufficient love insurance. So I'm encouraging everyone to make sure you have love insurance in place. We have seen in recent times how when a lot of persons pass, they have to be collecting GoFundMe. And I'm sure if you were to investigate those persons, they were offered life insurance, love insurance many times, and they didn't see it fit. I have heard individuals say, when, when I die, I die, let my family worry about that. That is irresponsible. The master teaches us who are believers that a wise man, are you wise? A wise woman makes preparation for their children, children, children. Therefore, it's the responsibility to leave a legacy. One of the reasons, if you search history, why the black race is behind the curve when it comes to financial wealth, because they started with zero. So it is my responsibility to leave my kids in a better position. And the most economic way to do that is with love insurance. That's one of the key strategy to change the generational gap, to change the generational wealth. We have to be responsible. So I'm encouraging every person that is hearing my voice. If you do not have life insurance in place, or even if you have, and you're not sure if you have sufficient, call me 321-557-1155. I believe we should have life assurance. We are all going to die. That's what is certain. And we should have, we should desire eternal life that we must be safe. But you must be responsible while we are living to make sure that you protect your family and loved ones if the unexpected was to happen. And even if that does happen, it's important to leave a generational legacy in place, to leave your children, regardless of your age, your grandchildren in a better position. When you do that, the master says, you are wise. There are two persons, there are different persons the master call wise. He that winneth soul is wise. 
and he that makes preparation for his children, children, children. Be encouraged today, be wise, be disciplined. You can call me 321-557-1155. My name is Paul Edwards, a son of the Lord Jesus Christ and a financial advisor by profession. Lord bless you today.